Stuart, congratulations. How does it feel to be a permanent Kilmarnock player? Um, very, very good. It's a relief almost more than anything. I mean, since the end of last season, I loved being here, but obviously my future was up in the air for a few weeks and whatever, but delighted to be able to get it done and dusted and just can't wait to kick on now. What is it that you love so much about life in Kilmarnock? I mean, last season, as all the fans have noticed a wee bit, it was up and down, especially at the start, but especially when the new manager came in, the way that we just went on that incredible run, it just is an amazing feel around the place. It's just something that I really want to be a part of for the future. What's it like to work with Steve Clark? It's been it's been brilliant. It's like it's an experience I've not had before with any other manager. And he's obviously one of the main reasons I wanted to sign here because I worked so well with him the last six months and I feel like I can learn a lot from him. And Everything he says, all the boys are listening to every word, so it's just something we cherish while we've, we've got them here. You've played left back, but you formed a, a really strong partnership with Kirk Broadfoot at centre back. Is, is that where you see yourself predominantly? Yeah, I mean, I played left back a little bit when the manager first came in, and if the manager had asked me to play there, of course I'll do whatever I need to do for the team. But I think towards the end of the season, I showed what I could do when I played at centre back. Me and, as you say, me and Kirk got a really good relationship going, a good partnership, and I feel that I'm starting to flourish playing alongside them and it's hopefully something that we can carry on. We obviously got a lot of plaudits last season from kind of midfield and, and the forward areas, a lot of players catching eye, but how much satisfaction did you get from being part of a really, really strong defence? I mean, I mean, what you said about the midfield and the forwards, I think there's every right for them to get the plaudits. I mean, Boyd scoring the goals that he done was incredible and JJ just every game can just get everybody off their seat, but... I think the manager knows that the full team comes off of a good defensive base. I don't just mean the defenders, I mean the midfield and the strikers also help us out with that. But obviously the last line of defence before the goalkeeper, I feel it's good when we are a lot more solid as we have been. And when we, we've got a good few clean sheets like at Celtic Park and it, stuff like that, and it shows you that we're doing well. Stuart, just talk me through the, the last two years. Obviously one season, um, spend time at Newcastle and then the other season obviously here. I mean, when I was on loan here last time, I went straight from here down to Newcastle and it was a bit of a risk for me to go down there, but I really enjoyed my time down there. I made my debut, which was a great experience for me. and It's like a, new, a new experience, a new environment to be in, playing in England, but obviously I'd done the one year down there and I might, it's no dis, like, disgrace to say, I don't, maybe I wasn't up to the level they were looking for at that time, which is understandable, but... I came back on loan up here and I feel it was a really good decision for me. It was a risk to come back up, especially because I'd been down in England, but especially the way the last six months went, I think I made the best decision and it's bared fruit with me now signing here. What are your ambitions then for your time here? It's just to kick on nearly from where I left off. I mean, personally my first loan spell here I wasn't over the moon with how I'd done. In the first six months I felt like it took me a wee while to get going. I think the last six months one of the first times I've showed what I can really do and I just want to continue that and I know the manager's put his faith in me by signing me and I want to just repay that by putting on some good performances in the upcoming season. How exciting is the start of the season? We know who we're going to play, St Mirren first in the League Cup and then St Johnson first in the League. It's, it's a strange experience for me because I've always came in sort of just after the season started, I've, not really, I've always sort of missed the boat at the start so, so to speak but it's good, we know what we've got to build up to. It's a couple of good weeks training to lead up to it and I think we'll be able to hit the ground running and pick up from where we left off last year. And you did some pretty handy goal celebrations last season. You get any planned for this year? No, none. <laughs> no, I've still not lived that one down, but that's a part of my game that I want to add to is by scoring the goals. So no matter what we celebrate, if I can chip in with a few, hopefully that'll add a little bit to my game that can hopefully help the team. And what would your message for, for the fans be for this season? It's just the support that they gave us last season was absolutely sensational at times. It's just to ask them to continue the way they were and give us the backing. I'm sure if the boys receive the backing, we'll do our bit in the turn and hopefully we can have a really successful season.